Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Nellie. And today we are learning about the parables of Jesus. What's a parable? Is that like a pair of two bowls that you use to eat cereal in the morning? <laughs> no, not a pair of bowls. It's a parable. Oh. A parable is a made up story that's meant to teach us something. Jesus told us many parables in the Bible. Oh, that sounds really neat. What kind of stories did he tell? Did he tell stories about unicorns? Oh, or maybe a story about two big marshmallows that became best friends. Well, you're going to find out what kind of stories Jesus told today. But first, we're going to sing a song. Yay! So let's all stand up. And sing a song to Jesus! <laughs> this song is called Let It Shine. You guys, we're going to start by clapping our hands. You ready? Here we go. All right, now this song is all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. You guys, Jesus loves you so much. And we can show the world how much we love him when we shine our light. Let's sing. Our light is from you, sing it out. Our light is from you, together we won't hide when we're living as we get of light. Sing, your light is ever brighter. Your light is ever brighter, Jesus, shine through us, so we can forever shine on everyone around us. Sing, shine your light, put your hand up. You guys sing out, you are our savior. You are our savior, who rescued us from the darkness that was our sin. Our light is from you. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as we get of light. Your light is ever brighter, sing it out. Your light is ever brighter, Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine. Shine your light, here we go. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright, bright, bright. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Don't let it hide, hide, hide. Let it shine, shine, shine. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, we're gonna sing that out again. Let me hear ya. Let's go. We're gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, sing out, shine your light really loud. Shine Job singing that song. That was great. You can all sit down now. Is it time for us to hear a parable now? Yes, it is. We are going to hear one of the stories that Jesus told us in the Bible, and it's a really good one. Oh, yay! I'm ready! I already have my listening ears on and my thinking cap. That's good. You're going to need your thinking cap because remember, Jesus tells us these stories to teach us something. So, friends, put on your listening ears and your thinking caps too. And now it's time for us to hear a parable of Jesus! Yay! <laughs> Stories of the Bible. The parable of the two sons. This is Jesus. Hey-oh! 
who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! Jesus was in the temple in Jerusalem teaching when the Pharisees and religious leaders came up to him. <laughs> they challenged his authority and Jesus said, what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, Hey, son. Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. Eh. The son answered, No, I won't go. But later he changed his mind and went anyway. Then the father told the other son, Hey, son. You go. And he said, Yes, sir, I will. But he didn't go. Then Jesus asked, which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, the first. Then Jesus explained his meaning in telling this story. Jesus told them that people who sinned would get into the kingdom of God before they did. This is because the Pharisees and religious leaders didn't believe the people who God sent to tell his message. Jesus continued to talk to the Pharisees and religious leaders. They realized he was telling the story against them and they wanted to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowds because the crowds listened to Jesus and believed that the message he was speaking was from God. Wow, Jesus tells amazing stories. He really does. And did you learn anything from this story? Yes, I did. That's great, that's what Jesus wants. And you know, the more we listen to Jesus' teaching, the more we understand. How do you know that? Because the Bible says so. It does? Where? In Matthew 13, 12, Jesus said, to those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given and they will have an abundance of knowledge. Oh wow, that's a lot of knowledge. Yep, and I think we should learn that verse by singing it. Oh yay, okay everyone, stand up on your feet, not your head. <laughs> and let's sing Matthew 13, 12. Yeah. This is Matthew 13, 12. We're going to start by marching like this. And let me hear you say, hey. And hey, one more time, really loud. Great job learning that verse through singing and dancing. Yeah. You can all sit down now. Hey, I've been thinking about the parable Jesus told. Yeah? Yeah, and I think there were some things I still don't get. 
Well, there's a lot of things you can learn from Jesus' parables, and I know somewhere we can go to learn more. Really? Where? Scuppet Scout Camp. Oh, I love Scuppet Scout Camp. Hey, can we practice the Scuppet Scout salute to get ready to go? Sure. We can clap twice, and then howl like... Whales! <laughs> no, not whales. Wolves. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, let's do this. Everyone, do it with us. Ow! <laughs> now I think we're almost ready to go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yay! Let's put on our listening ears. And our thinking caps. And let's go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yay! Hi, I'm David. And I'm Gus. And I'm Bog. Welcome to Scuppet Scout Camp. We're out here around the fire telling stories to earn our Storyteller's Patch. Oh yeah, I want that one. Yeah, I, I guess I'll get that one too. But first, we have to do our Scuppet Scout salute. So we're gonna clap twice. No, how about, how about we cluck like chickens? Um, chickens are safe. That is not the salute. Gus, look, we've been over this. There's no wolves out here in these woods, so you're safe. Okay, fine. Let's just do it fast though. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Phew, good. Okay, no wolves. All right, you guys ready to hear the parable? Uh, what's a parable again? A parable is a story that Jesus told us to teach us something. That's right. Good job. Good, good job remembering, Bob. Thanks. So, David, what's the parable? Oh, well, this parable is about two sons. You see, their father asked them to do a job. One of them said he wouldn't do it. Oh, well, that's not very nice. But then he did it anyway. Oh. Well, that's good. What did the other do? The other one said he would do it, but then he didn't. So why did Jesus tell that story? God wanted us to learn that we should obey him with our whole hearts. The first son did the right thing in the end, and that's important. Even when we do bad things, we can still make the right choice in the end. But the second son said he was gonna do something and didn't do it. That's exactly right, hmm. and that's not a good thing. Hmm. I think I get it. Well, that's great, Bob. Why don't you tell us a story about what that would look like for you guys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was once a blue scuppet and a green scuppet. They lived in a treehouse together along with a purple scuppet. One day the purple scuppet came to the green scuppet and said, It's cleaning day. Will you clean your room in the treehouse today? The green scuppet said, No, I can't today. but he later changed his mind and cleaned his room anyway. Then the purple scuppet went to the blue scuppet and said, it's cleaning day. Will you clean your room in the treehouse today? And the blue scuppet said, yeah, sure, fine. But he didn't clean his room like he said he would. Mm, wow, that was a great story, Bog. Guess what? You officially earned your storyteller's patch. Oh, oh wow! Bog, look at that! Hmm, thanks. Yay. <laughs> I think we all have times like that where we're asked to do a chore or something by our parents, and it's a great time for us to practice obeying them. Yeah, but sometimes that's hard. You're right. Making the right choice isn't always easy, but that's why God promises to help us when we're having a hard time like that. Really? Yep. Remember, we can obey God with our whole heart. Now. Let's do the Scuppet Scout salute one more time. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we go back to the safe tent where no wolves can get us, right? Gus, there are zero wolves out here. That you've seen. Uh, come on, David. Let's do the salute. Uh. All right, you ready? Whoa! Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna go back to the tent. Bye-bye. That was so fun. I loved hearing those stories around the campfire. And I think I understand Jesus' parable more now. That's great, Melly. Friends, remember that Jesus wants to teach you so much through his parables. And when we listen to those stories, we will learn so, so much. So make sure you keep your listening ears on yeah. and your thinking caps with you so mm -hmm. you can learn more about the parables of Jesus. We love you so much. Yes, we do. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>